Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Role Builder YouTube channel. Today we're continuing the series where we build the game from start to finish all on episodes just for you guys to enjoy. Now, a lot of zone requests have come in very, very quickly. In fact, this was one and the second, the second two most popular ones is a moon zone with low gravity and a underwater like aqua zone and ocean zone, something like that. So uh, those are both dark zones. I wanted to break it up with something light and fun and candy zone. Uh, is flooding my comment section to be quite fair so we're gonna do a candy zone today and after the candy zone we will go ahead and uh, go to one of the dark ones let me see this is one two three four five six seven eight zones so we are going to be doing two more zones after this then the game will release and uh, we're gonna be looking pretty good guys uh, and uh, keep in mind I will be updating the game with more zones like it's not gonna be the end of this series just because the game comes out um, I'll definitely be still adding your guys's ideas as zones in the future but let me go ahead get something laid out for the candy zone and i'll check in with you guys right when we're done all right guys some progress has been made check it out you hop on into this zone boom hop onto this little jump pad boom hop up here nice complete a set of obstacles right here not sure what they're gonna be yet nice there'll be a checkpoint here then a small set of obstacles once again not sure what it's gonna be nice jump up here this set these little guys very i just love this obstacle it's so simple but it, it just uh, it's so rage inducing as well i mean it's at least this could be at least two deaths okay like bruh we're cooling and then this one which goes and then it drops off still onto a death barrier so like i don't know i'm just trying to get a little uh a little unique out here <laughs> i'm starting to run out of ideas to be fair uh we did add this hammer in which uh has a, a weird position right now but it works well in game also probably should add another one of these guys because the jump off of the hammer was quite hard like uh probably impossible so i'm gonna add this guy and just put him like somewhere around here maybe maybe a little bit bigger stretch this down to the ground just to extend the end of this um little spot right here in the cave there we go now you could definitely jump onto that so here's this guys uh before we get too far into this video you gotta make sure to drop that like for your boy we're grinding out here we gained like oh my gosh like we were at 10k like four days ago five days ago and at the time of recording this we're at like 11 12k i think we're at 12 12 000. you guys are killing the game so thank you i'm gonna keep working on this game until i can get it out for you guys and uh i'll check back in when i got some obstacle ideas all right guys your boy's back and and i've been getting a little creative okay a little bit um uh, not a ton but you know i'm trying out here so up first we got the lollipop hop all right <laughs> I mean, all right, it, it sounded real good in my head and it, and I planned for it like the lollipop hop But it just I cringed a little bit right after <laughs> I said it so we got this boom I will be making all of these kill parts So I guess I might as well go ahead and do that now You cannot touch the actual lollipop itself just the stick that the lollipop is on so very easy with the system We got set up using collection service if you're new to this series and this is the first video you've seen uh, All I got to do is click on the parts go to my tag window right here and click kill part and there we go it's very easy uh another thing i like to do it's not necessary but it does help uh is turn um can collide off okay just make sure that they do touch the part and roblox added this thing called can touch so even if can collide is false touch can still be true all right up next after the candy hop hop dang i already forgot my cringe name for it. uh i haven't made something on this one yet but afterwards we got these bouncers so you can't see the platforms you just have to jump and land on the particles okay uh, i haven't tested any of these obstacles yet so i don't even know if they're possible i'll be testing them right after i get done showing you right here one of these is can collide false right here this is gonna make people rage okay two like some of these have two working ones some of them have one working one basically you step on the blue all right boom and then you jump onto one of these uh some of them are non-collidable so yeah have fun guys <laughs> And then this is normal, just hops, and you get to right here, which I don't overly like how I have this way up. I wanted it a little bit up so, like, players can, you know, jump onto it and just, like, yeah, I don't know. That should be okay. But I'm going to make up one thing for right here, and uh, then we're going to test these and get the uh, the spawn pads put down. But, guys, ooh, I'm not looking forward to testing. I'm trash at obstacle courses. All right, all the obstacles themselves are done, so let's spawn in and give this thing a test and hopefully not die over 
and over again, and hopefully everything's possible. So I saw a comment that I thought was pretty funny. Someone was like, me trying to build a parkour game, like having to press play every single time, and then a road builder trying to build a parkour game plays once and everything works. Uh, I, I kind of butchered how he said it, but it was hilarious, and I actually laughed a little bit. So whoever wrote that comment, thank you, okay? Made my day just a little bit better. All right, guys, here we go. It's time to test, okay? It's time to test. I'm terrified. Here we go. Bounce on this guy. Ooh, the star didn't bounce. I'm gonna have to look into that one. So, boom. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. Huh, okay, okay. Look, it is possible, okay? You just, you cling on like a koala. That's why I put them a little higher than, uh, than the actual, like, lava or kill part, whatever you want to call it. And that is because it's, uh, it's barely makeable, okay? You could barely, barely, barely make the jump, but hey, you can make it, okay? And all of these are the exact same distance from each other, so I just need to make sure that you could take from this last one to the end. You can. Nice. Now, this guy. Uh, my goal was to make these, like, little cotton candy pieces. I don't know how well I did, but I mean, they look alright to me. Oh, ah. <sighs> All right, on my way back, you know, just cooling, really get in there, okay? This guy's all right, we know that. I did move these things down, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make it. Um, uh, all right, no baseball cap on my head. We're skipping this guy for now. All I gotta do is put a little platform at the beginning, like I did with this, uh, and simple fix. It'll be possible, okay? Now, let's see if we can do this guy or not. So, the goal is jumping to the particles, like so. All right, there you go. And then you have to get to the edge of the particle and fly over to the next one. All right, this one does work, guys. We got a check. Perfect. This one works. So, up next, of course, this thing works. I don't remember which one's which. Uh, yeah. So, we just step on this thing. Nice. And let's check this. Now, um some of these, well, of course this works, okay? The jumps are very easy. Some of these are can't collide off, and I don't remember which ones, but I'm doing pretty good uh, until now. All right. <laughs> so, every stage does work. I do need to check the last, last thing. Then we're gonna add checkpoints, and I think we'll be a-okay. All right, guys, we are back also. Um, oh, we don't have it yet. Working on a advanced movement thing, like parkour jumps, and, like, you'd be able to do front flips, dives, slides, everything like that, and that will be another game pass which uh you know little little monetization your boy's going for it and perfect simple you could do it it's possible it's easy what eh, bruh, i did not touch the brick mm. it's okay though <laughs> let's add the checkpoints make sure we got them named right and then uh then we're cooling also we could change our portal right here because it's looking a bit scary a bit demonic so instead of all of this we're gonna go ahead and make all of the red into a nice blue it's gonna be so beautiful this blue will work perfect and i'm gonna take these guys and make them into a pink perfect that kind of screams candy land i'll even make these into a these might be pink too yeah those could be pink too looks good checkpoint time so as you can see right here we have checkpoint number 37 let's grab and move and uh hmm i guess you don't need one at the beginning there it would go over here because you just checkpointed there so that's all right uh and i will make a spot to put these but for now i'm just gonna put them like on the outsides like that so this is number 38 39 40 41 and number 40 42. So, with this guy, we could definitely remove quite a bit of this stuff. These, uh, these rocks. Something like this. Make sure we get these small guys, too. Alright, now we can move this guy out a little bit. Probably should shrink him down. Nice. And this guy could be moved to the side. There we go. Perfect. And now we have all of our checkpoints. Now, make sure this door works. This is number 37. So, to get into the door, minimum stage 37. Nice. And for the next door, the minimum stage would be 42. So, let's bring that door right over here. Nice looking good grab right in here area number eight. All right We might as well change the name to number eight as well and minimum stage is 42 there we go guys So up next we're probably gonna do space or the ocean theme I'm down for both of them honestly So we'll just see what what vibe i'm feeling next time I go to build wait, what am I doing guys? I haven't even decorated the zone. It's just oh gosh. Okay. Okay I'm gonna decorate this and then i'll be back. All right guys now we are all decorated We got some big lollipops. Okay. We got some cotton candy shrubbery and uh, I think that's pretty cool. And all right. Also just want to talk about this real quick. I'm not looking forward to building the invisible barriers for every obstacle. That's going to take a very long time. And another thing right now I have music for each zone and I think I want to change them to just ambience. So it's like more life to the game, not necessarily like songs, if that makes sense. So um, I might do that for a video. We'll try to find some cool stuff, see what we could do for each zone. Might be interesting. Anyway, that is going to wrap up this one for today. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.
Later.